Okay, in this example, uh, the user is going to enter a word in an edit box, and then we are going to remove a specific character or characters from that word. Okay, so the character that I wanted to remove is going to be the A. So I'm going to run through this whole word, check whether there's some A's. If there's an A, I'm going to remove that A. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to make a variable. Is word. It's going to be a string. And I'm going to take the content of edit1 and I'm going to put that into that variable. Okay, to run through this whole word character per character, let's say um, the user enters the word apple, is going to we first need to check each and every character in that word. So it's going to start with the first one, check whether it's an A. If it's not an A, I don't want to add it to my new word. Then it goes to the second one, check whether it's an A. If it's not an A, add it to my word. And I need to run through this whole word, word, word from the first character to the last. And to know how long the word is going to be, I need to use the length function. So if I run the length function over here, it will tell me it's one, two, three, four, five long. And I'm going to put that in a for loop. So it's going to run from for one to five. And I'm going to take each character and test that whether it's an A. If it's not an A, I add it to my new word. If it's A, I'm not going to add it. Okay. So I'm going to make another variable here. Is new to create a new word. I'm going to need a k integer for my a loop for loop, and I'm going to make a i len variable for the length. Okay, so first thing I'm going to get the length of this word is word. So to get the length, I need to use the length function. Length function has one parameter. I see you want to get the length of S word. I'm going to send that back and save it into I length. Then I'm going to say for K is equals to start off the first character and run up to the length of that specific word. Okay, you can't just say five because the next time you're going to run this program, the word might not be, uh, the length of the word might not be five, and this then this program is not going to work. So it will only work then for words that are five long. Okay, so we don't want that. We want to get the length of the word, even if it's only three characters or two characters, and then the loop must run from one to the length of that specific word. Okay, so now I need to test if is word k so it's going to run through now one two three four five if that specific character is equals to an a then i don't want to add it to my word so if it's an a i don't want to add it so if it's not an a Let's try to use not. If it's not an A, if it's not an A, I want to add it to my new word. So I'm going to set S new to nothing because I want to start that word off with nothing in. And I'm going to say S new is, is equals to S new plus that specific character where we are at now. Okay, so if it's not an A, I want to add it to my new word. If it's an A, it's not going to go into this if statement, and it's not going to add it to S new. And then afterwards, I want to display F new in. Let me just check. I think it's label three. Yeah, in the label three. So it's a string. I don't need to do any conversion here. I can just say, take the new word that I build up and display that in the label at the bottom. Okay, so let's test it quickly. I'm going to enter the word apple. 
and hopefully it will create a new word without the A. Yes, it worked. Okay, so skip the A. Just to show you how this program runs throughout this specific word, you can actually go and show message. that specific character okay show me each the specific character so k will be one then two then three then four then five and it will this it will display each character for you okay so it's a so you can check if it's not an a add it so it's a, it is an a so it's not going to add it to that okay take the next one it's a p yes add it Next one's a P, add it. Then the A, L, add it. And then the E, add it, and it will display. Okay, so you can, you want to make sure whether you are running through this whole word, you can actually just display each character there. Okay, but for our program, we need to actually add the if statement now so that the program will work. Apple with another A at the end and it will add all the characters except the A. So basically we removed all the A's. If you want to do it with remove all the E's, you can just change that to an E. And we'll create a new word without the E. Okay, so now we're back with the A.